Hello there, my name is Anand Rajamani, and today I'll be presenting the basics of the FRC control system. This video is the first in a series called Program Your Robot, and we'll be talking about what each part of the control system does, as well as cover what CAN communication is. I have links to each resource in the description. Here's a diagram of the control system. It's composed of several parts, including the RoboRio, the power distribution panel, the voltage regulator module, the pneumatic control module, and more. Let's start by looking at the brains of the operation, the RoboRio. The RoboRio is the main computer for the robot. It has an ARM microcontroller as well as an FPGA, or a field programmable gate array. FPGAs are essentially very fast hardware-based computers and are good for interfacing with a lot of devices quickly. The Rio runs all the code for the robot, so it's safe to say it's pretty important. The RoboRio can connect to devices using I.O. ports for input and output, Ethernet, USB, CAN, I2C, SPI, PWM, and analog. For the purposes of the Program Your Robot series, I'll just be going over CAN and Ethernet, as those two can do most of what you want for your robot. I might make more videos in the future covering the others if there's interest. Make sure to follow the instructions on Screen Steps Live to image your RoboRio and radio, as well as set up the programming environment. Program Your Robot will focus on Java, but the code can be adapted to C++ as well. Now let's look at the Power Distribution Panel, or PDP. The PDP is basically just a fancy brick of copper. It distributes power to the rest of your robot. The small breakers stop mechanisms from drawing too much current for too long, and the fuses blow if the VRM, RoboRio, or PCM draw too much current. It's also got a microcontroller connected via CAN to the RoboRio to transmit data about current draw and voltage. The voltage regulator module is also known as the VRM. It provides clean, regulated 5-volt or 12-volt power to smaller devices. By contrast, power coming out of the PDP is unregulated and typically has inconsistent voltage that varies with the state of the robot and the battery. The radio is powered from the VRM. The pneumatic control module is also called the PCM. The PCM controls pneumatic solenoids on the robot, but it can also be used to switch things like LED strips if used correctly. Finally, the radio controls communication with the RoboRio, and by extension the robot. The RoboRio can be accessed via USB A to B cable, this is called tethering, but the radio is always used when the robot is on the field and frequently during practice. Alright, so now that we understand the control system, we're just about ready to start programming the robot. The last thing I should cover is what CAN communication is. CAN stands for Controller Area Network, and is a communication protocol used in cars, planes, and robots. It consists of two wires twisted together, and connected at both ends by 120 ohm termination resistors. On FRC robots, typically one termination resistor is on the PDP, and the other is on the RoboRio. It's very robust against noise, and you can both control devices and read signals with it. CAN works by having two wires, called CAN low, or CAN L, and CAN high, or CAN H. However, if either CAN L or CAN H becomes unplugged from the RoboRio or cut, you won't be able to send or receive any more data. So make sure your CAN connections are as robust as possible to prevent unplugs. I recommend either Wago 221 lever nuts or CTRE CAN connectors. On my testing board, we'll have the Talon SRX and Victor SPX motor controllers on the CAN bus as well. There are a lot of neat things we can do over CAN with them that'll take care of all sorts of situations with your robot. That's it for this video. The next video will introduce my testing setup and go over how to start programming and driving motors. See you soon.